Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial in Krita. Today we're going to be going over how to use layer styles to create um, an outlining effect on a stroke that you do for either certain like types of fabric, clothing, nets, stuff like that. Or even hair, if you just rather paint the hair and then outline it later, you can do that too. So I'm just going to make just a couple lines here just to show. So let's just pretend this is going to be some net or something else or I don't know, some sort of material that requires me to have this sort of look on it. And I need to fill it in with a color later on. So I can go ahead and do this all day and sit here and cry that the lines aren't perfectly straight or even. And I, there's an easy way to do that. A much easier way. We're going to be using the layer style to create this effect. So right click on your layer and go to layer style. And we're going to go down to stroke and turn that on. So as you can see automatically, it's creating a stroke around the stroke that you made. A stroke within a stroke. And you can change the size here. So put that down to two. So you can't quite see it, but it is there. And we want the opacity to be 100% so that we know it's black. Well, obviously you can change the color. So we'll just take this purple here. And you can kind of see it increase the size. There we go. That's pretty big. We can see that the color has changed. Put that back down to one. If you want to use your custom color palette, you can do that as well. So I don't think I saved any that I played with. Uh, oh yeah, we did. We add it. Add it through here. No, I can't add it through there. Import. Oh wait, no, import. No, I can't. That sucks. Oh well, that's okay. We can add that in the, in the palette docker. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back to black. Hold on. I was a little slow here, I'm not sure why. Alright, so now, instead of creating another layer to fill it in with color, I oops, go in and map that transparency, and now I can just color that in. So the black outline is still there. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. It's very thin because I only used one or two pixels. You can go back in and change that. Let me just color this in. Push that. And back to layer style. Stroke. I can maybe put that back to two. Um, yeah, that should, yeah, there we go. I can see it better. And that's all you have to do. And you instantly have line work without wasting time. <laughs> it took, what, uh, three minutes? Probably take you a lot less longer without listening to me ramble. And you can do the same thing with blocks of color. So I learned this trick from Ibezio. I think that's his Twitter handle. He does a lot of comic work for DC and Marvel, and he has his own series that are more adults. I won't say those names here, just because, well, I guess they will, it won't hurt. But he's working on some stuff. I remember watching his videos way back in the day, and this is what he did. Oops, actually, let me just uh, turn it off. Oops. And we'll just kind of make head here real quick. Doing some weird... Wow, this is really bad. Sorry guys! Just gonna get for rushing. No, I, I know how to draw, right? So... This is good enough. Sometimes I say that and I keep going. So I'm gonna probably just cut this until it's ready and I'll show you how to do the hair.
Okay, so this is good enough for now. It's a quick sketch, whatever. Uh, so what you can do is you block in the hair. Um, okay, so you like purple because you know my favorite color is purple. It's fine. So just start blocking it in here. Let's say maybe. Hmm, not just do this. We'll do some two strands. up very well. And this do like a, a bun that's high and messy, you know, very 90s, right? i clean this up a little bit more. Let's see here down here. Cool. So that's great. But if you want to have it outlined, set the layer style, stroke, come on, two, oops, it's already black, up the opacity, and that's it. Ooh, you can do inside as well. So I don't think it, eh, it creates an interesting look too. And center. It actually looks a little bit nicer, but I'm going to stick with the outside. You can see how it changes here too. Alright, so we'll hit OK. And there you go, you have instant line art for the hair and you just blocked in. So that's pretty cool, I think. So now you know how to make um, this instant line art without you know, actually doing the line art, and it kind of helps with the hair because then you can have that nice flowy look to it, and then you can always change the stroke to kind of make it a little bit lighter. There you go. So it's not as uh, in your face, I guess, or bold. And you can also change it to a complementary color. So I have that purple. Let's just add it up to be a little bit darker. Darker. Can't quite tell it's there, which is kind of the point of color mine art. It's just sort of like it helps blend in a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. And then if you go and you erase something, so my eraser tool. It keeps the stroke um, layer effect in there as you erase, which is pretty cool. So you can do some interesting stuff with that too. Uh, like if you want to buzz cut in the side, you can do that. But they have like... Sorry, that's probably not... Try and get in here a little bit better. Let's say it's that they were shaved or something. Let's see the like... the styles for it. Yeah, it's really sloppy, but you get the idea. I'm just erasing it, and obviously, because it's a thicker line, it's going to show more, so you have to erase a little bit more to get that. So you can just change the line um, thickness, or the stroke thickness for the layer effect. But I think this gets the point across. Oops. There we go. And you can color it back in if you took too much out. Like that. So it's pretty cool. And that's pretty much my only tutorial thing for today. And, you know, the layer style. And it, I really recommend using it. If you use Photoshop and you do something similar, which is where I learned about it, 
Um, now you can do it in Krita. And I'm really excited about that. Because I really should have been doing this a long time ago. I just thought it was never going to happen. And, I was, and then I was watching and the buzzy old... His old name is Stephen, I think. Or Stephen. Oh no, no, he's not... He's not English. He has, I don't know, I, f I forgot what his nationality is. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. The artist of Sunstone. When I was watching him draw uh, in a live stream a while ago, I saw him do that. I was like, oh, duh. I need to do that. I need to learn how to do that myself. In Krita. So, yeah. Anyway, that's enough rambling for today. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to support me. You can like and subscribe. You can also donate to my coffee in the link below or buy some stuff from my Etsy store. Make sure to comment if you have any questions or suggestions about this video. Or if you like this video, let me know why and if it's helpful to you. And if you have something else that you want me to try and do in Krita that you usually do in a different program, let me know and I'll see if it's possible. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.